Just going to give a little garage update. Not on the Elko, not on the Camaro, but it's been a little while since I've messed around with the PT. Just going to get it up on the ramps, look underneath, see what it needs, what it doesn't need. Not too concerned about anything major under the hood. You know it needs a tune up. Probably do plugs, wires, oil change. Um, they are notorious for overheating. So I do want to take the head off, check the gasket and the head. See if the head's warped at all. Um, but I know it needs suspension. So do want to get some lowering springs. I don't know how far of a drop I'm going to put on it. Uh, nothing too crazy. I think I was looking at some. They're about an inch and a half to two inches. So, two inches I don't think would be too bad because there's a pretty big gap there. I think it's about four, maybe five inches. Um, in the back, I'll probably do it even all the way around. So, Definitely two inches in the back, so it's a little bit higher. Uh, maybe two inches all the way around, inch and a half. I do know uh, I need some exhaust work, so I might just go all out and just get off the full exhaust system for it for no reason. Uh, pretty soon I'm going to start sanding it down, put some primer on it, and uh, spray it. That's pretty much it going to get the car up on the stands right now just give a better look underneath see what's all jacked up and what's good still need the wheel well for this side nope it's the other side yeah wheel well uh, other than that like I said uh, suspension see if the head's okay Tune up, paint, exhaust. Might do uh, headlights. Do have to realign this fender. But that's the plans for it. Oh yeah, powder coat the wheels. I'm not sure about this wheel. Might take it to a place if they could have it straightened out. But it is bent. I think right down here. It's bent. Maybe bent here too a little bit. That's why it's leaking air slowly. But see if they could just uh, fix that and powder coat them. Probably do like a satin black. So I'll, uh, like I said, of course these will stay black. Might take the handles off and then powder coat it as well. Um, this end will back back here will be black. The lock will be black. I'm not sure if I'm going to put the DJ back on it or not. If I do, it'll probably be a different font. Just uh, personalize it a little bit. Spoiler will be black. Of course, all the trim black. Besides that, the body is all white. Hood will be white. I'm still debating about the grill. Um, might paint one white. And I might get the old one and have that one black. Swap them out. See what, see which one I like better. Did have the tail lights and the headlights blacked out before, so I don't know if I'll do that look again or not. All right, looking underneath. It's not the best, but uh, well, that's a problem. Just notice that it needs to be probably grounded somewhere. Um, but it's a little, a little rusty up under there. Brakes are horrible. Definitely need new brakes. Um, I would like to find some uh, GT calipers. If I can't, I'll just take these off and um, freshen them up. Probably paint them. I uh, guess new rotors, pads. I don't know if I'll go fancy to get drilled or slotted. But this is not a race car, it's just a nice little cruiser. Probably gonna put unnecessary money into it just to make it look good again. It's my first car, so it's my baby. Um, this axle doesn't look too bad. I'll show you the other side in a second. 
it's obviously been leaking a little bit but probably just need some gaskets uh, I don't think I'll try to find the turbo motor right away but it would be fun to do a turbo swap on it but like I said this axle on this side is pretty bad along with the brakes so we'll need new axles I'll definitely do a different cover with this it must have been a damaged one ever got hit so I'll do a new cover replace that gasket I do this gasket also um, definitely different than being up under that thing so might be able to even take this off replace it I guess you can get to everything um, he said it will need new exhaust so of course probably just needs a new muffler on the end but I'm gonna do a full exhaust just because a little caked up under there probably should just power wash all of it clean it up see what's really leaking and from where but I'm sure all these gaskets aren't too expensive so I'm gonna be under here might as well just replace all of them but the biggest thing I was checking for were the brakes and obviously I'm gonna replace both of them but that axle is just horrible I'm guessing that cord on the other side grounds to the shock they're not in the best shape um, but if I'm gonna lower it I don't know if I'm gonna do the shocks and the springs or just springs but with the condition they're in, it might be both. Other than that, I'm not seeing too much. Maybe the belts, but I know the belts have just been replaced not too long ago. Maybe two years at the most. But that's the plans for it. It's pretty much the same. Um, you hear some grinding. Uh, so, that was most likely the brakes. Oh, yeah, definitely the brakes. But, so, let's say once the brakes are done, new axles, exhaust. Got a fun little car.